Welcome to the first video in the BYU Aeronautics Club video series. During this semester, we're going to be meeting primarily online, and we know lots of you are at home. And so what we decided to do this semester to help you be able to continue to progress in your aerodynamics understanding, we decided to use paper airplanes to teach a lot of aerodynamics principles. You can learn lift and drag and how to control airplanes. You can make them do a loop. You can make them turn or do whatever you want. And the reason we decide on paper airplanes is because they're really cheap and they're easy to make at home. And we want to support you continuing to learn wherever you may be. This particular paper airplane is called the Y Flyer. It's a custom design and it's a very slick and very fast and very easy to build airplane. And in today's video, we're going to go over how to fold this airplane so you can make one from scratch at home. So our very first step is very similar to most paper airplanes if you've built them before. We fold it hot dog style. And when you're making paper airplanes, it is totally okay to be a little bit of a perfectionist. So we're going to fold this and try and get the corners to line up as exactly as we possibly can. After we make that crease, we kind of check to make sure that the corners did line up well, and we open it up again. And once it's open again, you take these corners and you fold them in a triangle right up to the crease. Not over the crease, but as close to the crease as you can get. We do the same thing on the other side. You try and get the bottoms of those two triangles to line up in a straight line right here. Once that's done, you flip the whole thing over and you find that same line. You can kind of see through the paper right here. And once you see that line, you want to fold on that line so that now your airplane looks like this. See how we folded just about right on that line. So now these two triangles are on this side of the page now. Now that we have kind of a square shape, we're going to take the whole thing and flip it over again. We're going to fold along that crease that we made earlier. And this doesn't really do anything per se, other than make sure that everything's lined up. We should have now a nice triangle right here. Not a triangle, a rectangle, excuse me. Open it back up. And now what we're going to do the same thing like we did earlier. We're going to fold these corners in right up to the crease. And we're going to do the same thing again on the other side. And if you realize that it's imperfect or not folding quite like you expect, that's okay. You can kind of force it into place. Uh, if it doesn't fly very well, you can try again, make a new one. Paper tends to be pretty cheap and rather forgiving when it comes to kind of refolding. So now when we fold it in half, we should have a shape like this. You can kind of see it's almost like you can still see that rectangle, but now this whole side of it is kind of chopped off. Now to make the wings, we fold vertically upward and you want to make sure that the back you fold straight up so that in the back it's a straight line all the way. We've made one wing and now we're going to do the exact same thing and try to line up the top corners, everything right up with each other. Usually they won't line up exactly at this point because you've made so many folds and mine also don't line up exactly. But with our wings folded up, we should now have this shape. And you can see it already looks like an airplane. However, to add some extra stability to this airplane, we're going to fold it again like this and we're going to add a little fins to the back. So fold it up, oh this is maybe half an inch or so. It's folding straight up like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
try to get those fins to be in line with each other. And now you have an airplane. If you notice that the airplane tends to dive after you throw it, you can pinch these back ends up just a little bit. We're going to talk more about that in our video about controlling airplanes. But yeah, you've got a great airplane. So go ahead and go make it, and we wish you luck.